Hi, everybody. Oh, it's just so good to be back with you. And especially, I can't believe it, we're finishing up this whole pilgrim series this last weekend. And uh, I just have give thanks to the Lord for the good work that he's done through his word and through his spirit. And so many of you responded. So thanks so, so very, very much. This one last message, if you remember back, had to do with the whole spiritual discipline of sharing hope along the pathway. Uh, and it's all about our, our commitment to presenting the gospel to other people. And, and we use that passage in 1 Peter chapter 3, if you remember back, uh, that encourages us to be uh, courageous, to uh, be committed, to just be ready. If somebody opens the door, we're, we're to walk through it in, in every way that we can to present Christ to them. And, and then to just be 100% sure that God is behind it all. He's at work in and through us. Our responsibility is simply to be faithful to do those good works, and if God opens the door, to tell somebody about Jesus. And I didn't get a, all of the opportunity to uh, share everything that I wanted to share, so let me just take a minute. Marsh and I were away for just a little bit uh, on our anniversary, and uh, when we came back, I don't know if it's true in your yard, but our yard is just filled with weeds now. And it just seems like in the last few weeks, all of the perfect ingredients came together to turn those weeds loose. There was lots of rain, lots of seeds in the ground, and then it got hot, and all of those things together, they're just weeds everywhere. I thought about it. It's true in the planning of the gospel in people's lives. We water, we plant, and in the right time and in the right place, we're, place, we're told in 1 Corinthians that, that God gives the increase. He gives the growth. And so uh, in the image, uh, again, of those bricks on that piece of wood. Just remember, through all of this, just keep drinking deeper of the love of God. And as we do that, that's what will transform you and me and us together. And if we, if we love him with all our hearts, it's just going to come naturally. And we're going to share with other people and reach out to other people around us. So uh, Scotty's given you some great questions to interact about. I hope that you'll continue to champion this biblical value of connecting together. And uh, as we look forward to Easter and getting together again to study, we pray the Lord's blessing on you and on your family. So take some time to share a little bit about what this uh, text meant to you and how you're trying to put it into practice. Have a great time. Lord willing, we'll see you next week. Blessings on you.